Hola, cyber friends. I'm Bruce Campbell. You know me. Hold up, wait a minute. Saber Interactive has come out with more promotion about the well anticipated game, Evil Dead. If you're not familiar with this game yet, it offers a co op, multiplayer, and now solo game experience, thanks to its lovely fans. Saber has made some good games in the past, such as World War Z and SnowRunner. And I'm hoping their match can team with this game. That being said, I still have my concerns about the final gameplay and smoothness of the game. I have to give Bruce Campbell some kudos because he has been putting in a lot of work on making this game a good experience. I'm going to give some updates on this Evil Dead game and what we can expect. Without more delay, welcome to Mr. Unleashed World. I want to share some of the positives that came from that interview. Saber gave more insight on what to expect from the solo game mode for Evil Dead. To put it simple and not to be funny, there will be a few missions with Ash and Box. Now, were you one of the people that was wanting solo gameplay? If so, will this suffice for you? I am not sure that this is what the community had in mind, but from what I read in my last video comment section, a lot of people are buying this game no matter what. Why? Bruce Campbell himself. Everybody loved Bruce Campbell, aka Ash. He loved the Evil Dead game and it showed in the interview. But with a short solo game mode with a few missions being an actual problem for this game, I can't blame the developer for spending a little time on the solo gameplay because this was not supposed to be that kind of a game in the first place. I do applaud them for their efforts to please the fans. It has been brought to my attention that Bruce Campbell was able to bring more original cast from the Evil Dead franchise to do voiceovers. He invited Richard, who played Scotty, and Ellen, who played Ash's sister, Cheryl Williams. I think it's pretty cool that they are all coming together to make this game more credible for the fans. It wasn't mentioned that there are four different era classes for Ash. The name or category Tim gave for these classes was Leader, Warrior, Support, and Hunter. Leader will be the old Ash version. Bruce Campbell said in the interview that he will pick the old Ash to play with. Could this be a hit on which one is the best? The different classes for Ash have me wondering about the rest of the game and if they will make four classes for each character in the game. It could be something that will follow an update after the game roll out maybe. If so, this would be an awesome and it would benefit to the game experience to have customized classes for the characters. I wish Tim would have elaborated more on the different battle classes, but maybe that would be more in upcoming content. Now with the updates I just gave you all, there's still one important update that we still do not have. We still do not know an exact date the game will come out. All we know is that it will be coming out February 2022. This is a good thing and a bad thing at this point. Hear me out. Good thing is that the game is still due out in February. Bad news is that we don't know a specific date and the game is due in two months. The way they are gloating about the game and how fun it is, you would expect some more gameplay in this recent interview, which I was upset about. You even had the chief creative officer there and it still did not happen. At the end, Tim stated a lot more content to come soon and I hope he is right. If you are concerned about the upcoming Evil Dead game, check out this video on your screen. It shows some reason on why this game is concerning. Remember to hit one of those engagement buttons and subscribe for more game reviews and game information. I'm your host, Mr. Unleashed, and welcome to Mr. Unleashed World.